scientists have been debating for thousands of years about the structure of the atom. And in fact, the term atom comes from the Greek word atomus, and that means uncuttable. So they thought that with an, if you take any substance and you cut it and cut it and cut it and cut it, you get to a point where you can't cut it anymore. And that's the smallest piece of a substance or smallest particle possible. And that's an atom. Now we now know, of course, that we can actually have uh, particles that are smaller than an atom, and they are subatomic particles. And we've got three subatomic particles that we're interested in. First of all, we have the proton. Protons are in the nucleus of the atom, along with another subatomic particle called a neutron. Neutrons are also in the nucleus of the atom. So both of those are in the nucleus of the atom. Now, orbiting the nucleus in a cloud or a shell, we have electrons. The electrons move around the outside of the nucleus in uh, an electron cloud or an electron shell. Now, we can never say exactly where the electrons are but they're in a, a cloud or a shell around the outside of the nucleus. So these are our electrons, and they're in electron shells. And then we have protons, and the other subatomic particle is neutrons. And the neutrons and the protons are collectively in the nucleus of the atom. Now, the protons and the electrons have an electric charge. Protons have a positive charge. Proton, positive. That's how I remember it. Protons, positive. Electrons have a negative charge. We have the same number of electrons as we have protons in an atom. Therefore, the overall, there's uh, no charge. It's neutral. So, we have the same number of protons as we have electrons. So therefore, the overall charge of an atom is neutral. Neutrons have no charge. They are neutral. And the way you remember that is neutral for neutron. Neutrons are neutral. So protons are positive. Electrons are negative. Um, there's the same number of protons as electrons in an atom. So therefore, the um, the overall charge of the atom is neutral. There's no overall charge. It's the number of protons in a, um, an, an atom that determines the type of element that atom is from. So we can actually express that in something called the atomic symbol. It's a shorthand way for scientists and chemists to be able to um, describe a lot of information about the atom. For example, let's do carbon. So that's the, the symbol for carbon. And then we've got these two numbers here, 12 and 6. Uh, carbon has six protons. So this number here tells us the number of protons. The number of protons dictates or determines the type of atom. So this is what we call the atomic number, and it tells us the number of protons. And this other number is what we call the mass number. And more on that later, but the mass number is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. Let's do one more. Here's boron. So how many protons does boron have? Well, it's got an atomic number of five, so therefore it must have five protons. If it didn't have five protons, it wouldn't be boron. It's got a mass of 11. So that means 11 take 5, that means there must be six neutrons. How many electrons must it have? Well, it has the same number of protons as it has electrons. So it's also got five electrons.